get into this. This is going to be a big comic book, you know, thing. So, first up is going to be uh, my haul from Captain's Comics that I actually got to go in store. So, first up we have from Image Comics is issue one of, that is uh, this one right here. Now, Deep Beyond, pretty deep looking photo right there. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, and this is a variant cover. I just looked on the back. It's a variant cover. It does say one to one so that definitely proves that it is a variant cover. So, I'm going to give that one a read. Next up is a Marvel book. And I'm sure, I'm thinking it's the only Marvel book that I got. Uh, and that is a... At least in my opinion, it is a blast from the past. That is a 1978 Marvel Comics group of this The Spider Woman. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Uh, next up is issue two. This is of Beast Wars. Um, the 25 years is of the Beast Years Beast Wars franchise. So it's a big fan of the cartoon. Looking forward to reading that. I actually got issue one from another comic book store. Wonder Woman, the fantastic first issue. It's it's a nice cover, it is. So, I mean, I'm not a big fan of this version of Wonder Woman. I mean, but I did like it, but I didn't love it. Um, so, since Justice League Unlimited and Justice League, I have liked that version of Wonder Woman. And it made me like Wonder Woman even more. The Wonder Woman movie, uh, which I still need to see the second one, despite how people might take it as just being dumb or stupid, it's still Wonder Woman. And next up is a variant cover of DC Generations Forge issue one. I like these types of comics um, front covers because they show different comic book characters. They don't always go for the same one. I mean, it gets to be annoying to see the main three and then the second main three and then the third main three. So I like it when they put other characters. Like, uh, apologies, I can't remember his name, but you got characters like Dr. Light. You got um, Steel and Booster Gold. You know, that's, that's something you don't see very much at all. Like, I would love to see more Steel um, comic books, but you know, what was that, like 20 years ago that Shaquille O'Neal played Steel? I mean, I watched the movie as a kid, didn't really understand it, I just liked Shaquille O'Neal back then, because I was like, I'm gonna, I hope to be that tall, or whatever the reason was, and I liked him in basketball. Uh, right. Next up from that, we have issue zero of DC's Infinite Frontier. Now, I think this is supposed to be from what I've been reading online on on uh, comic book uh, apps and on the internet, apparently in Infinite Frontier is supposed to be the after um, after uh, Future State, which I thought and was hoping, which this is a wraparound cover, was hoping that Future State was going to be literally what it says, Future State, which is going to be like a self-expression word of DC. There's the wraparound cover, which is a pretty sweet cover. If I find another one, um, and this book was six bucks. Uh, next up, I have issue one and two of DC's Man Bat. Issue one is a variant cover. Now, I only know about Dr. Langston, uh Man Bat from really uh, the Batman animated show. Really enjoyed um, that version of the Batman. Could never get into Beware the Batman, but I like the fact that it was Batman nonetheless. And then we have issue two, which I believe is the regular cover. Still a good looking cover. Last but not least for this comic book store is The Question, The Deaths of Vic Sage. This is book one, and that's this one right here. Now I'm definitely a big fan of The Question. Again, it goes back to me liking Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. I've found that I've liked a lot of characters from that show. 
uh, the question being one of them, Booster Gold. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the Green Lantern I started to like. John Stewart was just definitely a big favorite. Just to kind of get these out of the way. And this is these were a part of another stack on my Instagram, which is Dash and Duck. First up, we have issue one from Boom Studios. This is Luna. So I have to read a lot of these books uh, to get back on track. And I'm, but I mean, this next one is is issue one, and from the previous stack, that was you saw issue two of this book. This is cover A of Transformers, Beast, uh, Beast Wars. Now, like I said, I had pretty much all the toys of these. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, next up, I have The Last Ronin, which is issue two for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by IDW. So, definitely enjoying this book. Uh, I found out online, which I didn't really want to. Apparently, this is Michelangelo. I thought it was Raphael. Uh, and you can let me know in the comments if that's correct or not. Uh, this is issue one of for, Fev for February, even though it's March, late March. This is Variant Black right here. Looks very cool, so I'm definitely waiting for issue two so I can read issue one. I know I could just read issue one right now and be done with it, but I want issue two right now. Because if this is good, as if this is good, I want to I want to immediately get to issue two. And some of you out there, some of you guys know what I mean. Um, all right, so last stack. All right, so this is my current uh, stack that I got uh, Monday afternoon from for the, from Comic Asylum Palm Desert in California. Uh, so first up, we have Aftershock Comic. Since Aftershock has come out, I have loved just about every book that I could get my hands on to read from Aftershock. I even made the hashtag, which I'm surprised nobody else had found out because there was when you typed when I typed it in, nobody else had it. And I, any book that I've liked by Aftershock or elsewhere or by anybody else elsewhere, I have put hashtag This is comic books. Now, if I could have an arrow like this or like a motion like this, I would. But having hashtag this is comic books is exciting. I uh, wonder who's backing up. Uh, so this is Nuclear Family Issue 1. Definitely can't wait to read this from Aftershock. Hopefully it's good. We will see. Next up we have one Marvel book. Uh, this is... Marvel Voices. This is a variant edition. Uh, I think this is the six, if I remember correctly, from my um, barcode code. This is from what it says. This is zero zero one six one. So I got this for fifteen dollars. It is Legacy Issue One with Miles Moranis, uh, Spider Man. And if I pronounce his last name wrong, I am sorry. Uh, I would rather just call him Spider-Man, but for certain characters in comic books, you kind of have to use the whole name. Uh, so for most people, they say Miles Moranis, Spider-Man, or Spider-Man, Miles Moranis, or just simply Miles and his last name. No. So looking forward to reading that book as well. All right, next up is definitely a big favorite. And I hope that I am on the, which I think I am, on the thing for getting issue two. Because this was a big book. And I'm excited that I'm hearing news about a possible animated and live action show slash movie. And that is the Keanu Reeves by Boom Studios. This is issue one. Now, Comic Asylum Palm Desert did this uh, thing where they had this cover, which is the first cover, and like five or six other colors for like a hundred and something bucks. And if I was a big time collector and I lived in a, you know, California or in just a better apartment without a roommate, I probably would buy that. 
but I only wanted one, so I got this one. Um, would I love it to be signed uh, by everybody that's up here? Yes, not just Keanu Reeves, everybody that's on here. Everybody a part of the project, from the person who did the lettering, um, the style, the directing, the layout, everybody. Everybody that was in, that put input on this book, I would want signed. All right, next up we have from Image Comics, issue one, one of Two Moons. Now, I'm a fan of history, uh, mostly on the sense of Greek and Roman history. I uh, just like the whole gods and goddess um, theory um, from part of history. But I've also enjoyed part of whether it be American or, you know, uh, England, I've liked histories about our military, um, because no matter how much you might like your military, you need to know about another country's military for whatever reason. Uh, and I hope this is what I think it is. I think it is, but obviously I haven't read it, so I don't know. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing and reading this. All right. From that, we have another issue one. Uh, I believe this is issue one. Yes, issue one. This is Stray Dogs by Image Comics. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Uh, when I first saw it, I thought it was like a vibe to uh, like Five Goes West. That's immediately what I was feeling. I was like, maybe that's what this is. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. And there was also a bundle like that. I think there was like two or three covers. Uh, not just the one for uh, for that comic asylum Tom Desert, uh, comic asylum Tom Desert. Looking at you again. I hope to go to your store. I really do. Next up is a cover one of issue one. Now, in a uh, further an earlier stack, I showed you issue one of uh, I believe it was a variant cover. This is Generations Forged issue one. I wanted to get both both covers, uh, only in the sense of I ordered this one first, and I was waiting on this in the mail. And when I went to the comic book store near me, uh, since I was awake enough to go slash I couldn't sleep, and I just happened to see that they had the other cover, I went ahead and got that cover. All right, next up is all DC, uh, a remainder of DC, and it, but it's all future state books. So, this one I definitely thought I had, but apparently I didn't. So I have to definitely keep track on books um, that I'm reading. Because I definitely thought I put my order down for issue one already. Uh, because I realized that I had gotten issue two. Um, and I was a little wear wearisome because I couldn't find issue one. And usually... Uh, for me at least, uh, which it, I might do it right away or it might take me two days. Uh, I, as soon as I get a comic book and it has a barcode on the front cover, I immediately try to put it into this app called CLZ Comics. I try to get it in my library right away. And if anybody that doesn't have it, you need to have it. It has a free thing as far as I know. I've had it for like two or three years now, but uh, I pay... So you can put a hundred books in your library um, that it'll hold in, in your library through the app. But if to add, like say, say Green Lantern issue 100, uh, it didn't stop at a hundred. It went to issue 101. To put issue 101, you would have to upgrade, which is at the time I paid $15. And for an app that's kind of steep, even though there are more apps that cost even more, and the lowest app is like 99 cents slash free. So I had to make the commitment of all the books that I had, and I got tired of writing them down, even though I enjoy writing my books down. Uh, I enjoy writing my books down on paper as well as in a notebook or through my phone. I just That's just what I do. That's just kind of my odd process of still writing things down in a book, such as this, keeping track of it. Uh, I tried to do, 
like for the future state, I tried to keep it as Wonder Woman, Kara Zor El, and Green Lantern. And then I was like, I want Catwoman, Immortal, Immortal Wonder Woman, and then Shazam. And then I wanted Justice League, Superman, Wonder Woman. So now I just got to get the rest. But this book is going to be mostly for the book series that I'm currently reading. So I can remember, not just have it on my phone. Because after a while, as much as we are on our phones, we tend to forget things. So this is issue one of Catwoman. Which is a great cover. Then we have issue one of Superman, House of L. Dark Detective, issue four. Which I have issue one, but I don't have issue three or um, two. So they might have just did that by mistake or, you know, whatever. Uh, Suicide Squad, issue two, which I believe that is Peacemaker uh, right there, which John Cena will be Peacemaker, which I find hilarious because most people think he is Captain America. And I like John Cena as a wrestler and an actor. Uh, but I would not like him as Captain America. I think him as um, Peacekeeper is is excellent. Uh, maybe Captain Captain Adam would be uh, suitable for John Cena, but I think Peacemaker, from reading his history, is excellent. So that is definitely a plus. Uh, all right. So next up, we have Batman Superman. Issue two. Boom. Get that sucker out. It's pretty nice. Then from there we have issue two of Aquaman. Boom. Definitely a war under war. War underwater, I should say. Then we have Superman and Lex. Or, you know, Superman versus Lex, which is a pretty sweet cover. Kind of looks like uh, Bizarro Superman and Bizarro Lex, but, you know. Or just the version of Lex Luthor that, you know, he thinks he is or something. Still got to read it, so this is just, just, you know, my opinion just look, from looking at the cover. So that's my comic book haul from two different comic book stores um three slightly hauls but really mainly two uh big ones so um from that you know you know write me some comments good or bad i mean obviously i am a noob and amateur at doing this but hey i'm getting myself out there and what else am i gonna do go to work i mean yeah gotta go to work gotta get the money Got to pay the bills. Got to do stuff like this, whether it's good or bad. This is my opinion. This is my part of my personality. This is part of me showing myself without showing myself. Uh, and from there, you know, I guess that's it. That's it. See you guys.